Over to you. Thank you so much, Elaine. Welcome, everyone, to another session of Firebytes Traffic Management 102. This session, we're actually going to, rather than just focusing on blocking and denying certain traffic, we're actually going to go beyond that go beyond allow or deny for applications and start to look at how we can control those better. Uh, the perfect case in point, I used to work in education. And there was a time that we actually had a trainer come in, uh, talk to the teachers and said, what a wonderful tool uh, Pandora is in the classroom. It sets the students' moods up. And then as a network administrator the next day, uh, you can imagine my surprise when, you know, uh, a thousand teachers wanted to have Pandora in the classroom and obviously without um, having those tools to manage to properly manage the network applications uh, your uh, usage can uh, quadruple um, and take all of your bandwidth so today we're going to again build on taking it beyond the 102 session that Chris did last month and just to recap what uh, Chris went over so a traffic management 101 review, we did release a lot of uh, new features in 11.9 to include a wide variety of use cases, such as limiting uh, web traffic for all users on the trusted interface, for instance, allowing two megabits per second and one megabit per second upload, guaranteeing bandwidth for a specific user, setting maximum and guaranteed for IP addresses, so again, rather than um, delve in too deeply into that review, we're going to simply build on that today and take it uh, to the next level as well. So with application control, uh, traffic management, you can use uh, traffic management or actions with application when you want to limit the bandwidth used by certain applications. And uh, don't worry, we're going to go through over a few slides today, and then we'll go into a, a more hands-on uh, environment as well. So it can be a good alternative to block an applications uh, completely. If you have an application control subscription, you can also use traffic management or traffic control actions to control the bandwidth used by applications and application categories. So that's the key is that you have to have that application control subscription. If you apply a traffic control action to an application category, all applications in the category will share the same bandwidth specified in the traffic management action. Unlike uh, last month's session with 101, application control, there is no separate uh, forward and reverse action. So the traffic management actions will apply in both directions for all policies. So those are just uh, some key tips I wanted to bring to your attention as we uh, dive into a little bit more on uh, traffic management. Now as we look at this, uh, we look at traffic management policies. Obviously, um, there is a precedence order. So just, again, a couple of tips. You can configure the HTTP policy to use a traffic management action, and you can also configure application control to use an application such as streaming, video streaming applications as well. As we look at how um, WatchCard is going to be able to handle that, uh, this, the order of actions are being applied from most to least specific. So again, we're going to look at individual applications. If we don't have a policy for that, we're going to look at the application categories. And then we're, overall, we're going to look at the policy as well. And that's kind of how we're going to handle that um, priority on the watch grid. So as we look at an example, um, again, here we are looking at using application control to limit the bandwidth used by streaming media to 100 kilobits per second per user. Now, in today's environment, that's not necessarily uh, the most usable situation. So in my lab, the examples today, we're going to um, switch it up, and then we'll lower it at the end so you can see how that works. So some of the steps that we're going to go over today, we're going to enable traffic management settings. And as Chris mentioned, there are some things um, over overall uh, general settings that we need to address. We're going to take a look at the overview of how that traffic management uh, policy, how we're going to control, for instance, streaming media while we're still allowing web browsing and controlling those um, and actually two traffic management actions. So we're going to take a max of 100 kilobits per second for worldwide web category, just general surfing. 
And then we're going to take a max of two megabits per second uh, for Pandora in the streaming medium. Then we're going to configure that, apply those configurations, and then um, end up monitoring those as well. Now, as Chris mentioned uh, last session, again, I'm just covering it in the event that you, uh, you weren't able to make uh, the one-on-one session. But we need to enable traffic management and quality of service on the global settings. So the way we do that is I simply go to set up uh, through policy manager, go into global settings, and then we have the dialog box uh, that appears there. We're going to select the networking tab right here, and we're going to uh, select enable all traffic management and quality of service features checkbox which is right here, and we're going to click OK. Now, um, for those of you that are interested, I am recording this, and I have the ability then afterwards to send out the link. So just let me know if you would like a copy of that. And then we're going to verify the OS compatibility settings. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, we have a number of new features with 11.9. And part of that is, um, through Policy Manager, just telling the uh, Policy Manager what operating system you're using, so whether or not those new features are available. So again, 11.9 is required for the uh, features that we're talking about today. Now, just like we did last um, session with uh, 101, we are going to go into Setup Actions, Traffic Management, and we're going to click on Add a New Policy. Now, as mentioned, um, there are three different policies that we can apply or an action types. So one is All Policies. So again, we're going to look at All Policies. And maybe we say, as a school district, we only want two megabits per second as a maximum for Pandora. Or we can say Per Policy. So it applies individually to each policy that uses it. Within that policy, then we can say, you know what, we're going to have the middle school teachers, and we want two megabits per second to them. And that's a shared policy for all the middle school teachers. Now, as we look at um, a per IP address, now we're going to say, you know what, no single IP address is, needs to use more than X amount. And so it's extremely granular and flexible on what we're able to do. And then we're going to configure the action setting. So we have a maximum bandwidth, guaranteed bandwidth, and then maximum instance. Now, keep in mind that the maximum instance is per IP address only. So for instance, if I wanted to say every computer in my organization can only have a maximum of um, 2 megabits per second, it's going to give me 128 of those instances. For today's action, or um, in today's example, we're only going to use the maximum bandwidth. And uh, in your organization, you might say it's per IP address. Uh, for today, we're going to just use all policies um, example for that. So under the, um, just to delve in a little bit deeper on the action types, so if it's all policies, all four policies will share that defined one megabit uh, per second maximum bandwidth if it's available. If it's per policy, each of the four policies individually can use the uh, defined one megabit uh, per second maximum bandwidth. And then, obviously, the per IP address, um, each one can use uh, one megabit per second. Now, as we look at monitoring, uh, I know a number of uh, the engineers focus on a policy manager. You do have the flexibility of using the web UI as well for these tools. Just know that um, if you haven't checked out the changes with the web UI with 11.9, definitely worth a look. Uh, we've taken all the, out all the Flash components. So in essence, you can uh, use your iPad to manage your firewall if you needed to do that. So as we look at the traffic management statistics and graphs, they're available in that location, uh, system status traffic management page. The chart will show the statistics for each uh, selected action. And then in the Firebox System Manager, uh, hover over the action name to see the list of policies, applications, and source IP addresses that it applies to. And expand a per IP action to see st 
statistics for each source IP address. Now, as we talk about this, and I mentioned the teachers, I still run into um, configurations where people are building policies in Policy Manager based on IPs or networks of IPs. You can certainly do that. Uh, however, with the flexibility of Active Directory tying in with single sign-on, uh, having a splash page authentication, now we can start to build policy for groups of users um, through there as well. So just to recap, on the monitoring page uh, for the trafficking management, we can see the two examples. Um, we see that on the left side the web UI, and then the right side shows the uh, Firebox system manager as well. So with that, let's go ahead and transition into uh, my live environment here. And it's taking a second for my virtual machines to come up. There we go. So I am running in a virtual sandbox environment. This is my policy manager, and we have our traffic management um, window behind it. I'm actually just going to go into uh, filter or the policy tags. Again, a very cool tool. If you haven't checked that out, um, we're simply creating different filters on how to manage that. For instance, if I had none, I've seen some uh, fire uh, rule sets upwards of 200, 1,000 different rules. So a real quick way to um, define, uh, to narrow in what policies we want to look at. So as I mentioned, the first step is to go into uh, setup global settings, we want to go into the networking tab. From there, we can uh, select enable all traffic management and quality of service features. So again, all of the series of uh, traffic management uh, 101 through 103 are going to require that uh, you enable this traffic management and quality of service features. From there, the next step is to go under setup, actions, and look at your traffic management. Now we have uh, two policies. Again, I'll just look at the first one, looking at max uh, one kilobits per second per user. Now I did have this on um, 100 kilobits per second uh, for a user. Um, however, as you can imagine, any web surfing that I was doing was incredibly painfully slow at 100 kilobits per second. So I'm just going to leave that at um, 1 megabit, and then at the end I'll lower that so you can see that buffering uh, that's happening. We see some traffic going on currently. So again, we have the option to tie into all policies or per policy or per IP address. So for instance, if I wanted to address teachers versus students, I would be able to use per policy, or in some of your cases, you might have managers, maybe it's bank tellers, and again, we have that option to uh, tie it per user. Now, where we actually see this, um, another area that we see traffic management being used as well as some organizations, they're not allowed to block, for instance, peer-to-peer -peer networking, or um, maybe it's a college, they're not allowed to block them, so what they actually do is, they go into uh, and set one kilobit per second, which obviously is uh, quite painfully slow, especially if that's um, shared between thousands of computers. So again, I'm just going to leave it at one megabit per second. And then I have this other one that's uh, max two megabits per second per user. And this would be, for instance, um, my Pandora group where I don't want, or let's say per teacher group, and this would be where I didn't want the teachers to take 100% of the bandwidth, streaming Pandora, or maybe it's Apple TV, because we want that um, for mission-critical network uh, applications as well. So then the next step is to uh, come into the policies. And as you can see here, we're taking that outside the proxy action. So only two features are. Um, we have two features from WatchGuard available outside the proxy, and that's application control and IPS. Everything else is within the proxy. So as we look at this application control, uh, again, you might be able to, you can create a new application control policy from here. 
or you could uh, create um, ones to clone it, or we're going to actually edit because I have a pre-created one under here. Now, the first step I generally recommend is, as you're in this application control screen, is to select by category. Now, this allows us to, for instance, as we look at peer-to-peer, um, -peer, we could say drop. As I mentioned, you also have some organizations limiting it down to one kilobits per second. We could do that here. Now, the other thing um, I wanted to mention is that there are, for instance, security uh, protocols that you can block, for instance, bypass proxies and tunnels. You can block that or limit those um, here as well. But for today's session, we're going to be focusing on streaming media. So we're going to give that that umbrella policy of using the max of 100 kilobits per second. Now, within that, obviously, uh, Pandora needs to have a little bit more of 100, meg or 100 kilobits per second. So I'm going to just search for Pandora. I see it here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this action. Uh, by default, this is set up to drop. So I'm going to say, let's go ahead and allow it. And again, we're in a specific application within this application category of streaming media. So again, we're going to apply traffic management. And this time, we're going to choose the uh, 2 megabits per second for that. We're going to click OK. And again, from the policy side, uh, the category is trumped, in this case, by the application because we're more specific on that. We're going to go ahead and save it, which I have saved it. And now we're going to um, see that policy in action. So we see if there's no usage. I'm going to go, to, for instance, to, let's just say, a sample web page. Uh, we're going to see that it's kicking up. We have some traffic under the um, 100 kilobits per second. In this case, I'm now going to go to Pandora, which it should uh, come under this mobile application. And again, by hovering over, we can see exactly what policies are um, affected by that uh, traffic management action. So let me turn down my sound here. And as we see the, the audio coming in, now we can see, for instance, traffic, and it's going to hit that uh, 2 megabits per second. If I had 10 teachers running that, it would um, st still be under that uh, threshold of 2 megabits per second. So what I wanted to show you at this point is to prove we're going to limit this, um, truly make it 100 kilobits per second. So again, to do that, we go under Setup actions, traffic management, and we're going to show you how it's hitting that ceiling and keeping it right around that threshold. So we're going to say 100 kilobits per second, click OK. So again, we're taking that same uh, streaming protocol, select by category, we're taking streaming media, we're applying a maximum of 100 kilobits per second, and then we're going to take Pandora, again, just a recap of having that um, 2 megabits per second. Now, again, we could make that whatever we wanted for our environment. And just by limiting it, um, so the other feature of traffic management is if for whatever reason, let's say we're um, limiting Pandora to 2 megabits per second, it's not a guaranteed uh, it's a guarantee for that traffic, but if we don't have that traffic, that traffic, um, if we don't have two megabits per second of Pandora traffic, that uh, bandwidth is available for other applications, obviously. I just want to clarify that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this new config. in a comment, and save it to the Firebox. So now, as I pull up uh, a web browser, and I try to go to, for instance, Pandora, 
or let's go into um, REI again. We're going to see, for instance, that it's we're hitting this, and uh, we should be capped out at that rate. We might actually have to lower it a little bit more. Um, so we're at 59. Let's go into a large uh, CNN. And it looks like it's going to cap it for us. So we see 81. It's keeping it under that maximum uh, threshold of 100 kilobits per second. Now, if we raise that up, then it would we raise the cap on there. We would see that web page load considerably faster. But again, as I mentioned earlier, if you had anyone a surf, trying to surf at 100 kilobits per second, it's quite a painful experience. Um, it's temporarily over 103, and then it's going to bring it right back down, buffer it down to that um, that cap for us. Now, as we look at, uh, a lot of people say, well, how do I know what kind of traffic that is? If you look in your traffic monitor and it's saying it's unresponsive because it's uh, so slow, if we look at that traffic monitor, we can see, for instance, um, if we pause that under application identified, this will tell us where that uh, policy is coming, hitting. So for instance, World Wide Web, HTTP. So if you wanted to address a particular policy or a website that you didn't know um, what uh, category that was under, you can find the app name and then the category name as well right under here, network protocols. So this is how we can address different traffic patterns and then really start to uh, address those traffic patterns through that um, filter. So again, as we look at this, uh, let me just close this out. I'll raise the uh, limit on that one more time so that we can see that CNN uh, comes through considerably faster. So if we change this back from 100 kilobits per second to, let's say, um, 1 megabit per second, all policies. Now keep in mind, as I mentioned, we have per IP address. We can click on how many instances of that um, policy should be used. So I'll show that to you as well. Save that to the uh, save the new config. Now the config save and let's try out CNN again. And it should be considerably um, more responsive. Or if we wanted to go to um, somewhere else, just to let's go into now. As we look again at that traffic management um, component, we can actually see here the maximum instance. We see all those 128 um, clients in here. So those maximum instances will show the usage, the rate um, here as well, and it will show it the individual users. And again, that's by changing it to um, changing it from that global policy to a per IP address. So again, just to recap, if you wanted to have a group of teachers or let's say of management, certainly you don't want to block management from um, getting into uh, funny cat videos or what have you. You can build that policy um, here, changing the from, changing that from an IP address to an actual group. And then we can go in and define the application control, um, the bandwidth for that particular policy. So with that, I wanted to thank you for your time. The next session that we actually have is a Traffic Management 103, which is a quality of service. And that will be next month on that. 